Hey there guys, welcome back to a new video. Sorry if there's some stuff in the background. That is, like I said, it's it's a very busy house. Anyway, hope you guys are doing well today. Right now, I'm going over the new Wings of Dawn update. Now, I have to warn you. Sorry about the background noise. I have to warn you guys that there will be bugs, arachnids, and stuff like that in this one and unfortunately i can't really do anything about that so if you're afraid of insects in any way shape or form i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry uh but uh yeah so we're going to get started good morning afternoon and evening everyone this week's development update features the much expected team creatures content there's quite a bit to unpack again so let's go to it without further ado shall we New logo and banner art, because why not? Said Ek had a sudden strike of inspiration and completed the brand new logo for our game. Right here, which will probably be the new thumbnail for this video, possibly. I'll see, because I haven't seen anything of the new stuff, so don't worry about it. <laughs> this one is here to stay. It's flexing it around a lot. And while at it, Ek decided to redo an entire gorgeous new Discord banner art for our official server. Warning ahead of time that Ek is going to be cooking something brand new for the Discord server icon as well. So please do not be alarmed when slash if William disappears. Heck, this woman is on fire. Man, that is beautiful. You can see the Volgan in the background and the burning castle and everything like that. It reminds me of... um. Have you guys watched that dragon movie? What was it called? Oh, it's going to be bugging me all day. I know I'm going to remember it. I'm going to remember it after this recording. And I'll be like, gosh, dang it. But it's like a... It's like a castle and... Uh, people are sent back to an apocalypse or something like that. But yeah, it's like that. It reminds me of that movie. Anyway. New creature. Giant rock drilling weevil. Nika has completed another AI creature concept. This large insect is another creature you will be able to find from the underground and caves. Giant rock drilling weevils. We wills. Sorry, not weevils. Why did I read weevil? We wills, as their name suggests, have large mandibles and arms to easily push, drag, and carry and break rocks. Therefore, it is highly encouraged to not get punched by these creatures. Ignore the disturbing looking teeth. We promise you do not want to see them up close. Man, look at these guys. They're really ugly. Compound eyes, uh, cracking claws right here, weird mandibles. That's okay. And you get to see a human right here for scale. Man, these are some big guys. Don't know why there's a horse, but that's okay. New creature, the scavenger concept. Peb is also joining in with another cave creature concept. This time, it is the scavenger. This creature, although you would imagine be rather small, has a nasty looking tail and pincers to pack. Why are people DMing me when I clearly have Do Not Disturb? That is very weird. Uh, this creature, although you would imagine be rather small, has a nasty looking tail and pincers to pack. When it feels threatened, it will move its tail vertically and face it against a potential predator. So you get to see the mandibles right here strange filamentous area and then you get to see the claws the pincers right here very cool it kind of reminds me of like um earwigs you know what i'm talking about copying this main concept out of the creature we also have a small handful of various potential different potential patterns for the creature very cool i like this one this one looks pretty good i also like this one too this reminds me of um, the, uh, my my solemn, my dinosaur creature that we have. Sorry, there's so much yelling in the background. I don't know why there is, but that's okay. We're just going to ignore it for right now, guys. Polar Vulcan skin is now customizable. We have showcased a new Tundra skin for the Vulcan in previous updates. The skin is obtainable in both static and customizable variations. Below is a video showcasing the skin options. The skin is available for many different hues of light blues, greens, and purple ice blue colors. Next, wish it would show the name, but that's okay. We'll be getting ready and patient with the new Halloween winter skins once phase two of the event has been completed.
Oh, that's cool. It looks like a little little snake right here on the neck. Snake-like patterns, the beautiful coloration on wings. I really dig it. Very cool. And you get to see the different colorations. That's cool. Very cool. Big fan. I'm sure it's just going to show like the uh, highlights and everything like that. Yes, it is. Perfect. Okay. Revamped Prawn Horse 3D. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, the bugs part is over for those of you who wanted to watch but are afraid of bugs. Um, I believe this is the end of the bug part, but if I do see another bug, I'll let you know. Uh, Materas has been busy with revamping the Prawn Horse. Name yet undecided. Creatures model chief. We have the new first next to the old last model sheet in comparison. The creature has gone through quite the change, hasn't it? New 3D model sheet for the prawn horse. For taper, center of adamant, and go hair under some bovines, membrane, shoulder wrists. Very cool. Very cool. Quite like it. Sorry about that. Really loud in the background. I don't know why. And here's the old version. Cool. Uh, Prawn Horse. You get to see more. 3D model. I love the armors right here. Claws are pretty cool. Big fan of the claws. I wonder why it needs claws. In the first concept, it didn't actually have them. It's cool that it does so. It reminds me of Dragon Wings. Very cool. Completed Valad 3D sculpting. Santa Egg has completed another sculpting process for our 7th Dragon Valad. You have seen lots of progress on our small fire wyvern. Wyvern? Wyvern? Wyvern. On our live stream. Here you can see the dragon in its glorious detail up close. So I was told it was supposed to have like a chicken, like um... A short chicken like tail so it would have feathers and stuff like that and uh but the body would be more upwards by one of the deaths in the last update video for the valad 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 anyway uh i was told that so if you um are curious just uh sometimes the devs pop up in the comments if you're a dev watching this hey there how's it going if you're not a dev then uh, hey there how's it going anyway I like the beak. The beak's very cool. And the horns. You get to see some chest armor like ornamentations right here. Though I believe that's actually part of the rib cage, so I think they would have a um not belly ribs, what are they called? I'm blanking on the name. I'm sure somebody with an actual um who actually studies bones will know what I'm talking about. Very cool. And then we get to look at the chicken feet. They remind me more of hawks. Or parrots. Imagine this guy could hang upside down. That'd be pretty cool. Like some parrots do. I believe this guy's supposed to breathe smoke. That causes hallucinations. Sculpting up close.
Those almost seem like feathers on top, but they might just be part of the scales. Very cool looking though. Very cool looking. I'm going to exit out of that because uh, it's just showing off everything really. They began the Valon's retopology or retopology progress. So speaking of the further progress done and done to Valon's model, Retopo is now on full speed forward. Once Retopo is done, the creature will receive its textures and eventually the base default scale. What is the Retopo used for? Is that supposed to help animators? Somebody somebody sound off in the comments if you know. Very beautiful looking. Quite like it. And that'll be the end of the update. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and everything like that. I know we, um, I know that uh, it was a bit of a hassle last up, not hassle. What am I working? Uh, it was a little short last update. So hopefully this update, you're a little bit happier with the um, progress and everything like that. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Even if you didn't, that's perfectly fine. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Peace. <laughs>